Hey guys, today we're going to be teaching you how to make a super simple and delicious miso mushroom bowl. It's really straightforward and easy to put together and it's a really perfect way to have a lunch that works well while eliminating meat at the same time. First thing you want to do is cook one cup of brown rice. If you don't have brown rice at home, please do not drag your parents to the grocery store. You can literally use any other rice, it does not matter. But if you do choose to use brown rice, make sure to add a little bit more water than you normally do and add a pinch of salt for like the seasoning and then mix it all together and let that sit for a while. If you have a rice cooker, use that, it's way easier but if you don't, just use a pot like we did. And then we're gonna prep the topping. So here we're gonna chop up some shiitake mushrooms. Uh, preferably if you have used portobello mushrooms, but really just use literally any mushrooms you want it does not matter um it's your dish you're gonna eat it anyways so then you're gonna saute your mushrooms in a pan filled with olive oil on low heat and then you're gonna stir it all together and let that sit for a while we also added some garlic cloves and a pinch of salt to add some flavor here's a another angle of our mushrooms and then while that cooks a bit more you're gonna prep the veggies so we're slicing the carrot into three sections and then you're gonna cut it up into these matchstick sizes and then that way you like get the crunchiness of the carrot still um you could also grate this but then you're missing out on the texture of it all and then yeah check up on your mushrooms and make sure to take it off the heat before it looks like that ours is just a little bit more colored but like no worries you can still eat it and then check up on your rice if you need more water add some more water and then just like let that uh, fully cook going back to the veggies you're going to take out the edamame from the um, boiling water and then you're just going to take out the beans and then you're going to grate your cucumber for this step we actually recommend um to cut it up like the carrot because then you're maintaining the crunchiness of it still because when you grate it it became like all mushy and stuff which is kind of expected but like we didn't really pay attention but yeah um unless you like mushy cucumber then go for it i guess but um, then you're gonna slice one small cabbage into half and then you're only using like a quarter of it Even then there was like quite a lot, lot of cabbage so like Be mindful with the amount of cabbage you use And then you're gonna chop up one avocado and slice it in half And then you're gonna take it out of the seeds like you normally do And then like instead of scooping it out with a spoon um, Peeling it off gets like allows you to have more of the inside of it of the avocado so yeah do that <laughs> and then you can just scrape off the extra stuff that you don't want and just cut it up thinly and beautifully <laughs> and then do this whoosh motion i mean like how cool is that that looks like so professional like you're basically a master chef and then for the dressing you're gonna add one fourth cup of olive oil you're gonna add three tablespoons of sesame oil and then you're gonna add two tablespoons of miso for this miso you can also make like other dishes such as um miso soup and like other dishes <laughs> um then you're gonna add three tablespoons of rice vinegar and then you're gonna chop up one small garlic clove and then you're gonna put in uh, two tablespoons of maple syrup you could also substitute this with like honey i think they're the same thing right they're practically like the same so you're gonna add uh, two tablespoons of water and then you're gonna chop up some ginger as well and then you're gonna add a pinch of salt and a pinch of cayenne pepper and then you're done super easy right yes <laughs> and then you're gonna blend it all together and oh yeah make sure to put it in a bigger blender and don't fill it to the brim like we did we tried to make it work but clearly that did not happen but no worries you just take it out and then just put it in a bigger blender uh, this is just a heads up for everybody else making it at home and you're just gonna blend it all together for like 30 minutes oh 30 seconds 30 minutes is like or i don't know who's counting just do it uh, and this like sauce is actually really delish it really holds the dish together um and then final part is the assembling part oh yeah for the spinach we just wash it and then we just mix it all together with the rice and then you're gonna add the cabbage the cucumber and then the carrot as well as the edamame on top and it's just like make it as pretty as you can and then last but not least the mushrooms doesn't it look like actually so professional like it looks so good oh yeah and your avocado don't forget that you made it so perfectly and you're done you're just gonna sprinkle up some sesame seeds and then drizzle up some of the dressing and then that's it super easy meal that you can make and the serving is for four people <laughs> and yeah i hope you enjoyed this yeah. video and thanks for watching bye